Rockstar took the Red Dead Online servers offline late last night, or for some of you, early this morning for maintenance. And it's been months since they've done this, and more than likely this may not be the only time we see this in the next few weeks. When Rockstar finally acknowledged the animal spawning issues back in early February of this year, players actually saw numerous server downtimes for Red Dead Online and even GTA Online while Rockstar worked on fixes. While ultimately the community and players didn't necessarily get an inside look on what they were attempting to fix, besides the animals of course, other changes occurred in game that we could take notice of, and today we will be talking about this server downtime for Red Dead Online and the issues currently in game that need to be addressed, and hopefully this helped with some of the issues that could be fixed at least on the server side of things. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Online, and even Rockstar Games as a whole, consider hitting that subscribe button. So first off, I'll be honest, I'm recording this video late tonight on August 13th, so technically the servers just went offline for maintenance, actually. The alert was just taken off of Rockstar's customer support screen. But quick refresher from yesterday as well, Rockstar did revert their patch from Monday and issued title update 1.21, which is meant to provide security improvements and address connection errors unintentionally introduced by a range of issues which included connection problems, low animal spawn counts, difficulty pitching camps, entering moonshine shacks, as well as others on PS4 and Xbox One. And we have reverted back to the previous version on those platforms, initially launched on July 28th. This should address the recent issues and restore stability. Meanwhile, we will continue to work to eliminate any remaining issues through future updates. That is a direct quote from Rockstar support, but now let's talk about this maintenance period. Rockstar had the alert pinned at the top of their Rockstar support page. Rockstar services supporting session creation in Red Dead Online will be temporarily offline August 14th between 3 to 6 UTC. This maintenance is not expected to take the entire scheduled window and services will return as soon as maintenance is completed. Now I also reminded you guys of this over on YouTube just in case you were trying to log in and you were wondering why you couldn't get online. If you thought maybe the bugs were back or something, nope, it is just server maintenance. No one can get online. Maybe some, because that happened last time. But nonetheless, we did have this maintenance period here. Now, what does this mean for issues in the game? Of course, we need new patches and other updates to actually fix in-game issues, but we are back on the Naturalist Day 1 or the Week 1 Naturalist update, which I guess was technically version 1.20, I think, right? So with this patch, we have numerous issues like graphics and performance issues, horses, vehicles, moonshiner issues, naturalist issues, of course, and we have a bunch of things. So we're we're just going to go through things right now and kind of use this as a checklist moving forward to see kind of what fixed, what changed, etc. So starting off with graphics and performance issues, heavy stuttering on console and PC regardless of specs, hair glitching out often, textures appearing to be low quality, and trees shimmering. Now moving on to horses and vehicles, horses sometimes won't fast travel, then can't be summoned. Horses will appear on the map, however, won't approach when whistled. Horse frozen when exiting Harriet's and Naturalist vendor menu. Horses have pelts on the back randomly. This issue has like always been in the game here. Wagons cannot be summoned and wagons cannot be purchased. Now for moonshine updates, infinite load screens are back on the menu and players and NPCs in the moonshine shack disappearing randomly. For the Naturalist role, animal attraction perk doesn't appear after unlocking. Black screen when accepting missions from Harriet. Harriet only offers the same legendary bounties, new ones that aren't unlocked, and rotated. What they mean by bounties, I'm sure, are animals. And this is also coming from the Red Dead Online Reddit. You can check out this full link for yourself down in the comments below. This was put together by the mod Magner, who also runs the Twitter page. So shout out to him. His link will be down below, like I said. But moving on here, Harriet doesn't appear in her tent. Harriet and her tent despawn. Harriet's menu cannot be accessed, even though she isn't upset with you. Infinite load screen when trying to start poacher and legendary missions. Legendary animals won't spawn for players over level 15 in a naturalist role. Legendary pheromones are consumed but not actually used at times. Photos taken aren't counting towards the compendium in the animal book. Samples from legendary animals will be missing sometimes upon completion of a legendary mission. Unable to study animals, unable to purchase roll during initial cutscene, and when purchasing the horned bow, it doesn't register, but it does take your gold, so you just lose your gold. 
Now we also have some trader issues like resupply missions and purchases registering properly and on players who are unable to purchase the butcher's table from crypts. This is a huge one affecting people. If you have not purchased the trader role yet, still as of right now, you cannot and are not allowed to do that. We also have some Twitch Prime issues. Players with Twitch Prime have not received their awards yet. It can take up to seven days sometimes, but I'm pretty sure there's still people out there who haven't done that. Just make sure you need to actually claim the rewards on Twitch Prime. Just simply linking your accounts will not do the trick here. And players who do not have Twitch Prime have been receiving rewards. So people who don't even have it or those accounts connected. That's really bizarre. Two PC issues. Alt tabbing out of the game causes a crash to the desktop. This is unfortunate because most PC gamers will be using that feature. And textures show low quality even at ultra settings. And then just a few miscellaneous issues. The advanced camera gets stuck and cannot be closed requiring the game to restart. Animals not spawning once again. Catalog has an issue that prevents you from buying anything. Carcasses disappearing from horseback. Infinite load screen when joining players via social club with different aim preferences. No payout for completing a variety of missions when in a posse or even just solo. And also the varmint rifle customizations revert back to the default look. Now all the errors people know of, I'll just throw these on screen so you can see which issue you have yourself. I typically run into the error GFX state since I'm on PC. That happens most times when I'm in the moonshine shack, which is really unfortunate. If you just sit in the staircase long enough or you open up the player interaction menu or you go to the pause menu, you'll get hit with that error. And other than that, I've seen all of those disconnect errors on my end. And then of course, the big F error code. F stands for you know what. So those are all the bugs, glitches, and other Red Dead Online issues players have been experiencing in both the Day 1 Naturalist DLC update patch, which we're on right now, and then also the patch from Monday. And just if you're confused on the timeline we're talking about here, the Day 1 Naturalist update fixed animals in free roam and also, for the most part, fixed dynamic events. I would say they're more fixed than they were broken at that point. And then any issue that remained, like the butcher's table at your camp not able to be purchased or the bounty's not paying, things like that, Rockstar addressed in the Monday patch to actually fix it. And that messed everything up. And now on Wednesday, they reverted that patch back to the day one patch. With and But it seems like they did keep the changes that actually fixed things in the Monday patch. Like legendary animals, for example, because players are seeing more of those. So I know it's confusing, but hopefully you kind of get the hang of what, kind of what's going on here in game. But with that being said, please let me know down in the comment section if you notice any other changes today after the maintenance period compared to yesterday or even later last night before the downtime. That's where we're going to wrap up the video here today. Hopefully you all enjoyed and hopefully if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, and even Rockstar Games as a whole. We'll be sure to keep you guys up to date with updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on all three of those websites, and you can feel free to strike up a conversation and even ask me a question. Whatever it may be, though, you can follow me at Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord with over 8,000 active members, can be found in the description down below. It's a great time over there. Definitely recommend you go check it out. With that said, thank you all so much for watching, everybody. Hope you all have a fantastic day, Hazard Gang, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.